How's it going, guys? Today I'm going to talk about Motex Can Inspector and what we can do to log raw messages when you have a uh, Motex C-Series dash. Uh, in certain er circumstances, uh, you may need a raw log um, if you're trying to figure out what information you have on a uh, vehicle's uh, CAN bus and you have that bus connected up to the dash or you have a, a UTC connected to um, the CAN network as well, you can utilize a program that Motec wrote called CAN Inspector in order to get raw messages and create a raw log file from it. And today we're going to show you how to do that. Uh, to download uh, Motec's CAN Inspector, you just typically have to go to, you just go to Motec's uh, site, scroll all the way down to the bottom uh, when, under downloads in their software, and here it is, the utilities. You just download and install the utilities, and then CAN Inspector will be in part of the utilities. Uh, I have mine displayed on the desktop here, so I'll double click it. Uh, I have a blank template on the C125 that is just all I do have set up is uh, it's a blank demo or blank uh, default. Uh, I set bus one and bus two up at 500k because that's the bit rate that I'm working with tonight, and uh, that, that's that's pretty much it. Sent transmit, we're good to go. Uh, for for peripherals, I have on the device I I just have a new AIM uh, GPS09 Pro Open IMU and GPS module. Uh, connected to the network. So that'll be providing uh, our base information for us to be supplied upon. Uh, to run it, you'll have to hit start. It'll say, do you want to capture it at 500K? I would recommend clicking gateway and verifying all your information. Uh, since I have my dash connected, I'm on the same network. Um, I can, I'm can i able to see it. I'll do my bit rate, it's 500K. I'll take my bit bus as CAN bus one, hit OK, hit OK. And now we have our data supplied. And I'll validate that information by just opening Peak PCAN Viewer. If you're not aware of Peak PCAN Viewer, it's just a raw CAN analysis uh, viewer software as well. I'll hit OK. I'll hit uh, Connect, and you can see that we essentially have the same data provided on both sides. Um, I'm going to hit Stop, Save. I'll throw it on the desktop. CanInspector.asc. Save successfully. All right, click. We'll open it with code here so we can see what we're looking at. You can see that we have the date, base, hex, timestamps, absolute. We can trigger back at what time do we start this measurement. The start measurement starts at zero, and then it's generated by Motec Can Inspector version 2.2.0.205, and then the gateway was the dash, the bit rate, the bus. So it tells us a lot of information about basically what device it came from and how we got it and what bit rate it was and all that jazz. And then you can see that we have timestamp of the bus, the can ID, is it extended or not by the lowercase x? So for instance, this right here is not extended with the bus ID of, or yeah, the CAN ID of five. Uh, if it's received or transmitted, we received all these messages. Uh, it is a data, uh, the length is eight, and then we have our data. So if you ever have a situation where you're needing to provide a raw CAN log, or you want to inspect what information is there and is being sent on a network, this is a good way to do it. And it's also a way if anybody has any uh, information that they need to supply for me of how they can do it as well. Um, I hope this is informative enough to have a base understanding of how to get a raw can log from Motec Inspector. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks and have a good one.